Hello everyone, this is Bob and Threadbear. Welcome back to Alpha Protocol. Last time we met Stephen Heck and fooled an old friend. But this time we're going to look into meeting the underground world of Taipei. Starting with Hong Shi, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Chinese names tend to be particularly touchy. I'm here to see the Red Lion. I'm a friend of the Sheik. Hong Shi, my name is Michael Thornton. I think you have information I need. I know many things. Most of them will be useful to someone, I'm sure. What is it you want from me, Mr. Thornton? I have no interest in bantering with an American cowboy. It upsets my digestion. Please, get to the point. Someone is planning to assassinate Ronald's son. You've been receiving transfers of funds from Shahid. I'd be willing to pay to see if these two facts are connected. Hmm, interesting. I admire a man who presents a business proposal clearly and succinctly. Mr. Thornton, a man in my position does not get to be a man in my position without knowing the value of a good trade. I can understand that. I suppose the question is what you need. But some of my lieutenants seem to think they would do better without my loving guidance and gentle hand. They have set up shop in a disreputable part of town. Now, if you were to discourage them, I will tell you what I know. You don't even know me. Why trust me with something like this? Why not use your own people? My own people are known to these rogues. You, on the other hand, look enough like an ignorant white old tourist that they might only mug you. Well, when you put it that way, it's hard to argue. All right, Mr. Hong. <laughs> I knew you would see the wisdom of this deal, Mr. Thornton. Uh, contact me again when my wayward children have been dealt with, huh? Oh, and Mr. Thornton. Yeah? Don't call me Mr. Hong. I'm confused as to how he would know exactly that uh, Mike here would be capable of running such an operation against his men like that. Anyway, we did get a few emails from the guy, including access to their stores at the clearinghouse. Unfortunately, it's nothing really new compared to what we've got already, and uh, this is that Parker stuff from before, and man, it goes on for a while. And this isn't even the parts that are described in the next bit of Parker's dossier. So that's a lot of information. Uh, speaking of, these are the three targets we're after. They're sort of tiny sub-bosses and... Oh dear. Oh dear. This was made just after the housing market collapse. By the way, in case you wanted any context for that particular email, Bait seems like you're asking for trouble, and yeah, shut up isn't very helpful in terms of getting his good graces. So let's just uh, let's just hold the email at arm's length and hand it back to him. Right. So these two items are the only new things you get from the triad connections. They're basically just another generic first and second tier supplier, in case you happen to come here first. Anyway, we got some intel for the Triad Headquarters mission. Mission map, dossier information, and 
one of the bits of intel, in fact. It's kind of interesting. He opens a lock, but if you actually read the email, it'll explain that he has also dropped a sniper rifle somewhere in the mission. We'll be seeing it, if not using it. So I'll point it out when we come across it. Okay, I'm not far from the market. The I'm picking up some activity near your position. I don't think Hong Shir gave us the whole story. The head of an organized crime syndicate not telling the truth? Gee, that's a stretch. Stretch or not, it looks like you're going to see some heavier resistance up ahead. Well, I didn't lie, just didn't tell all parts of the truth. Anyway, you might notice that that one lockpick icon is missing. That is the first item that our intel bought us is unlocking that lock. Looks like we've got quite a walk ahead of us here. Plenty of alarm panels, a few cameras, and a couple computers. So, getting through that locked door gets us past that courtyard. Allows us to telekinetically choke people to death. Not death. Whatever. Are you, are you coming in? Oh, you are. Okay, fortunately he didn't fire a shot, so nobody else noticed. Pretty lucky. But I'm not complaining. It did set off the combat music, though. Anyway, our first target is behind this locked door. And he's got his back turned. I'm guessing these guys are just going to be assassinated in the hospital or something. Mike's hands are going to be completely clean of this incident. And that takes care of the cameras for the entire level. Oh, and here's another one. I tried to hide it. Interesting. What is? I just found a ten-page list of Triad members. How does that help us? I think it may be a list of all the defectors. You said ten pages? How many defectors are there? A hell of a lot more than Hong Shir told us about. You better watch yourself, Mike. There's no telling what else he forgot to tell us about. My thoughts exactly. The funny thing is, it was probably in Chinese. So they probably did use the column function for that, too. Fortunately, we won't be fighting 10 pages worth of enemies here. On the other hand, I believe you now understand just how useful 20 seconds worth of silent operative can be. Oh, quite useful indeed. Quite useful indeed. Unfortunately, it means we can't use it on that fellow up there, so we have to wait for him to make his round. And there we go. There's another camera that's been deactivated. Perfectly useless now.
bad neighborhood. This is a tricky part. That guy out there in the courtyard can easily see through this window if you give him half the chance. Anyway, Tony Tseng is on the second floor on the building across the way. Ah, oh, there, see? He saw me anyway. Luckily I had evasion to fix that issue. And here is that sniper rifle I was talking about. It's got a very good view on Tony Tseng. But of course, we won't be using it. Unfortunately, the KJ playthrough is going to be a bit too loud to use it uh, in that one either. Besides, he doesn't really buy intel much. Now, if I can get through here without using Shadow Operative... I say Oh well. Bitch. I'm going to find you. You find out where you are. On my way. Huh? Hey, Tony. I hate your stupid cowboy hat. Now, as for this jackass, you may have noticed he's kind of got a... Oh, he's actually got a shotgun there. that wasn't too bad. But it's important to come in this direction first, to get this computer. That goon I just shot, he was standing in the way forward. Oh man, I don't believe this. Our friendly neighborhood triads have been dealing with al -Samad. You're kidding. Why would they be working together? Any details of the arrangement? Nope, just some ledgers detailing various transactions. So if you go that way first, you might miss this. This can't be good. Wait, there's a note attached to one of the ledgers. Apparently these defectors weren't happy with the arrangement, but money had nothing to do with it. All right, Mike. Keep looking. There has to be more to this. I could have taken the zip line, but then I would have missed a thousand dollars. And now it is time for the looting. This may take a while. Phosphorus slugs. I should really use that for the other run. A lot of people could be set on fire. This machine gun. Set a little too late in this sequence of buildings to be of any real use to uh, Mike. But it's pretty damn useful to the uh, triads if you got noticed. Amazing how they don't check out self-opening doors. They 
I really probably should. Lots of false doors here. Well, you'll notice there's another machine gun set up there on the loading dock. If I had alerted the triad, there would be, there would have been a lot more than just one guy there. Chung didn't just kill him. Maybe our visitor will take care of it for him. Well, if you're gonna turn around, then that means it's shadow operative time. Deal with that, bitches. <laughs> Oh, I told you it got better. Now I can clear rooms. There's a vengeful ghost. Alright, that third arrow is in the hallway beyond this one. So I've only got these two guys to worry about right now. Luckily, both of them are in critical range, but they also kind of can see each other. It's all about timing. Think about what I'm stepping in right now. Remind me to burn everything I'm wearing when I get back. Just be glad I accidentally stepped in that stuff. I would have missed that comment. Something important to remember about corners is that if you're sticking out over the side, it is in fact possible for folks to spot you. are not automatically invisible when taking cover, unless you specifically have no line of sight to the enemy. Fortunately, Mike has the magic ability to see from a position five to ten feet behind himself, which is very helpful in conditions like this. Now there's that giant window there you just saw. Luckily when he's on the far side of a room like that, nobody can see him go down. But there is one guy who just, whose patrol just takes him right up to the window to stare right on through it, so we gotta wait for him to turn around. Just like that. Well, it's official. Red lion, my ass. More like red liar. I hope you're sitting down for this. That's one of the benefits of a desk job. According to this series of emails, the defectors aren't the one who killed Hong Shu's second in command. I found controls for the sluice gates. Why would he do that? The guy had the audacity to openly speak out against the gang. Whoops. I kind of rolled one line onto the other. That's quite an example. I'll upload the intel to you. This might be useful later. Got it. Right, so point is, Hung Shar killed his second in command for objecting to an alliance with Al Samad. Well, I say alliance, more of a business deal. Mina, I need you to look something up for me. Sure. What do you need? 
Exactly how many diseases can I get from walking in this? Don't be such a baby. You'll be fine. Oh. After you get your shots. And a full course of antibiotics. And a month in the quarantine room. They left that part out of the recruitment brochures. As it is, I hope your boots are waterproof. Alright, this is gonna be a bit sketchy. But with enough stealth operative, not to mention sabotage, or that binary invisibility. Lot of health. Now to take care of those stupid turrets. That's the last of the ones. Good work. Head back to the safe house. I'll arrange a meeting for you with Hongshur's people. I'm on my way. Wait a minute. Mike, satellites picking up multiple individuals. Headed your way fast. Triads? Probably. They're armed like triads anyway. How much time do I have? Not long. We'll be there in less than a minute. You better find a good defensive position. Good thinking. It looks like they'll be coming in from the loading dock, directly opposite the door you entered from. Looks like... Can't forget that. They already had a turret covering that entrance. That might be just the thing to welcome them. Maybe. But I'm going for a no orphan run. Die! Hopefully all of those... Shock traps will help. Uh-oh. Sure hope he doesn't drown in that. That would suck. Hey, come on, come on. I got shock traps for everybody. Whoops. There goes another one. Four guys left. Oh, and if you're wondering, that second computer there changes the turrets IFFs. So they'd be firing at the enemies, and I do believe that counts against my orphan. Orphans per mission. Anyway, it looks like all my shock traps have gone off, so it's just a matter of finding the best place to throw the last one. I got one of them. That leaves three. Two, two of them are refusing to get off the loading dock. But perhaps I should do these last two in style. That's right, ignore your cover. Squeeze your flashed out little eyes. And then stick your heads up. Long enough for me to knock them down. Say goodnight, Gracie. Great time to get that perk, too. God, guys. You gotta stop dropping so much ketchup. It's like you're addicted to McDonald's or something. Because that sure as hell wasn't blood. There, see? Not a single drop of blood. 23 enemies knocked out by hand. So a lot of uh, wounds, bruises, abrasions, and collapsed tracheas, but no blood. And superficial burns from the electricity.
Ah, Mr. Thornton, you return. The television is already humming with talk of your assault on the slums. Everything's taken care of. But next time, tell me your lieutenant's defected because you killed one of them as a warning. I did not feel you needed to know this, Mr. Thornton. Nor do my men. I trust I can rely on your discretion. Shahid was sending you large sums of money. What was it for? A man in my position has access to certain materials, Mr. Thornton. Materials that a man in Shahid's position finds very valuable. We had a long-standing business arrangement. You've already got the international smuggling contacts. You could secure shipments to just about anywhere an Al-Samad cell operates. Very astute, Mr. Thornton. You would do very well in this business. I did not sell weapons to Shahid directly. I was merely a facilitator. And how does that put you in a position to know about an attempt on Sun's life? I'm willing to provide my information, not my sources. Fair enough. Let's see it. As promised, Mr. Thornton. Here is all the information I have regarding this unfortunate business with Mr. Sun. A pleasure doing business with you. And with you, Mr. Thornton. Oh, there is one other thing. Beware of the man called Omen Dang. Omen Dang? Who's he? I'm afraid no one really knows. He is a powerful man in Taipei. And I have heard his name mentioned along with the rumors of this assassination. I'll keep my ears open. Thanks. I could have blackmailed Hong Shi for money or intel, but then I wouldn't have had his cooperation in future missions. I'm sending you the data I got from Hong Shi now. Receiving. Got it. Anything? According to this, the White Oak Mountain Triad was approached to provide security for a diplomatic exchange at a subway station on the Xingmei Line tomorrow night. Nobody hires Triad gangsters to provide security for a diplomatic exchange. Any hint what was really going on? Hong Shi's lieutenants dug into the guy's background. Turns out, he was an NSV deep cover operative. After some persuasion, he let slip that he was working undercover to foil a major political assassination. Persuasion? Do I want to know? You really don't. That's not a lot of new information. It's something. Maybe if we can find a way to tap into the NSB's computers, we can narrow the search a little more. I know just the guy to talk to about that. Hopefully he's not as crazy as he seems. Stephen Heck? I'm not sure you can trust him. Well, neither am I. But he did offer to help me get access to the NSB's archives. I'll be in touch when I have more news. Okay. Good luck, Mike. In other words, the hotel mission is required. And since we've been to the other two places already, we'll be doing it next. See you then.